Welcome to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out with Julie Caraccio. Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., Julie interviews experts on all areas of clutter, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Learn easy-to-implement tips on how to release clutter and get organized to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. An award-winning professional organizer and coach, Julie also shares suggestions to help you live clutter-free for a more joyful and fulfilling life. Looking to change your life? Are you ready to release all your clutter, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual? Our Declutter Your Life is a year-long how-to, go-at-your-own-pace workbook course to guide you through the process of clearing clutter also available by three-month individual topic. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about making decisions. If you are clear on what's important, it's easier to release clutter. Being able to make decisions is the foundation of organizing as well. If you don't make decisions easily, know you can strengthen your decision-making skills. I speak from experience. In college, my nickname was Indecisive One. Ask yourself, what are your priorities? Is it family, business, work, losing weight, relationships? Concentrate on right now, not future priorities. Maybe your finances are in trouble and you need to address that, or you went to the doctors and you were told you have to reduce your cholesterol. Something that is pressing like that should be definitely one of your top priorities. If you don't have anything pressing to address, take the next week or so and jot down everything you consider, wish, believe to be a priority. Don't analyze or censor yourself. If you come up with something crazy, honor it. Sometimes that's where we find our heart's desire. I know when I was in college, I was always afraid to make a decision because I was afraid it would be the wrong decisions. Here are a few tips, but I encourage you, if you're really challenged in this area, to look into books or consider taking a class. A coach is also someone that can help you with your decision-making skills. But here are some tips to get you started. Go with your gut response or intuition. It's there for a reason. Trust it. Ask yourself if the decision is really meaningful. If not, make a choice or flip a coin. Is it really going to matter if you had banana or strawberries for breakfast? Set a deadline to research facts and information to assess your opinion. There's nothing wrong with that, but as I like to say, I can write until the cows come home. I can certainly research until the cows come home. Consult a friend who's been through the same issue. They're probably going to have some good advice for you and probably offer you a different perspective that might give you other things to consider. Brainstorm and come up with several choices. Determine if the options are compatible with your values, interests, and abilities. I don't believe that we have just one choice. Many times there are other choices, we just haven't taken the time to think about them. And finally, make a list of the pros and cons. Prioritize which considerations are most important to you. Here are examples of my current priorities. Spending quality time with my husband and our cat, Joey. Cooking from scratch as much as possible to eat healthier. And creating Declutter Your Life products to support people. Right now, those are my priorities, and that's what my focus is. Now, life changes. Life happens. So your priorities are going to change. But start with what is important right now. I'm going to encourage you to concentrate on no more than three priorities. As you can see, two of my priorities are personal and one is work-related. I still have my business to run. I still have my coaching to do. That hasn't stopped. But in my free time, my administrative time, my focus is on creating products. I have a couple projects I'm really excited about, so that's where the extra energy is going. And then when I shut down and not at work, it's about spending time with my family and creating healthier meals. I don't think I could concentrate or do another priority. I could, but I probably wouldn't do it that well and the other three would suffer. Once you have your priorities, the fun begins. Begin to spend time on them. But that's another episode. I go into a lot more detail 
in my course workbook, how to declutter your life. But this is a type of thing, building foundational skills that you can find in that workbook and course if you're interested in learning more about ways to declutter your life physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually. We start with the basics and go from there. All right, everyone, make some decisions this week. Go out, clear some clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Thanks for tuning in to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out. Sign up for our newsletter and receive a free copy of 10 Clutter-Free Living Tips. Ready to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire? Learn about Julie's coaching, ebooks, online monthly decluttering classes, how to organize your life, office hours, and her unique clutter-free living mastermind at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. You can also watch all episodes on YouTube or download on iTunes and more. Join us next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step.